Welcome back to NCIS Los Angeles. And last time, we successfully fully investigated the brand new murder that was Sakura. And um, we have a lot of information. Went through a very brisk investigation. Man, this game has much better pacing than Phoenix Wright. And we're going to go ahead and go in. It's time. There's only six of us, and when this is over, there'll be five. <laughs> Real talk, that face is killing me. I'll stop it! What? <laughs> I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! No matter how awful something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive. For example, if you're at a picnic and you find a dead body, XD. This is just creepy. Well, no matter how great something is, if you put a sad face, it makes it negative. Yes, indeed. For example, do you have a hundred friends? I can't wait! I can't wait! <laughs> now that please go in the elevator. <laughs> oh man. Yo, I don't know. Just the worst. I don't know. We've done this don't before. Agree. You just can't act like that because, well... You know, you care about this one. Don't be mean! What? What the heck? Whatever, let's just, let's just go in and see how we updated, uh, the courtroom. I cannot believe Yasuhiro is still alive. He might die today, though. Because I have no idea who did it. Ooh, Egyptian. Okay, we know the drill. The current over for the fourth time. Would I like to save? I would always like to save. Thank you so much. Appreciate giving me the splash screen where more than half the people are dead in it. Voice acting. Let's begin with a basic. E no. Whoa. Deja vu. The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Fiakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'd never kill someone. No way. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Hmm. All right, let's hear her logic on this. any sense that's the only reason you have for accusing us that's a no that's a nice no as you can get all right i know what to shoot it was one of you one of you killed someone you hated her that's the only reason you have for accusing us no that's wrong Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's do another one then. <laughs> Look at all those fucking photos, man! So many people are dead! 
to meet with all three of them? There's no way that's not suspicious. I could. One of you is absolutely guilty. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Come on. There's no, that no doesn't work. None of you went. At least one of you is lying. We have to grab something. The fact that Sakura wants me to understand why that's not one of you is absolutely... I don't deny that she wants... I never went to see her. Never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Come on. Wait a minute. He said he never saw her, period. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. I feel like never saw her is possibly my answer. Like, I'd like to... I'd like to hope, maybe... <laughs> the fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them, there's no way that's not suspicious. Oh, shoot. One of you is absolutely guilty. I don't deny that she wanted to meet. I never went to see her. I didn't either. No, I think I'm off base. Here. I never saw her. Wait, what? No, that's wrong. I could have sworn that didn't work last time I shot it. That or I wasn't paying attention or I was a little late or I might have hit the middle. When we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? Yeah, that threw me off. Okay, I'm blind. Because I thought I shot his statement with this scrap of paper earlier. It was white with red polka dots. Well, okay. What's that got to do with anything? Because I confused the logic I had on this. That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. Of course you did. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hiro, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um... well, I mean... Yeah, sure, I got it from her, but, but she gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was... when Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. Hmm... It was when Sakura got the candy. I got it. I'm not sure about that, Hiro. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it. Uh, I mean, what I meant was, uh, oh, that's right. I did meet up with her in the rec room. Got a problem with that? Why the sudden hostility? Well, we just talked. That's all. I didn't do anything. You've got to believe me. You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious. More of us. I can't actually tell who's the murderer. It's not just normal hostility. You're the real culprit. I even have proof. Mm. Huh? Proof? What are you what is going about? on? I'm talking about her shining message. At the scene of the crime, she had written out Coco in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. Oh, God. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Hmm. 
Mm, it was on the shelf. I don't understand these. It's just on the shelf upside down. Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! Okay. I can tell you exactly where I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. Okay. I can tell you exactly what when Ogre's body was this thing. I can tell you when I found the dying. It was only after the investigation I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, there we go. I saw her finally. Meant to get the magazine shelf. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message when Ogre's body was discovered. Whew! I didn't think I was gonna make that one. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, Hiro. <laughs> when did you see the message? Uh, hold on. You're focusing on the wrong part. Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is. Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one. <laughs> you know what? I just didn't want to acknowledge it. He's just trying to confuse us. And give us Vienna sausages. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true! Now it makes you suspicious the only time you're actually adamant in the discussion. Whoa. Oh, man. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Boom. Final strike. Show me the proof. This should prove it. So I may have just realized that I can shoot the, um... I can shoot the things when I have a target on them and not wait till the last second. I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. That minigame isn't the best, but that's eh, okay. Because if you look at least I've won well this the time. message was almost certainly written using a finger, but both of her hands were completely free of blood. Mm-hmm. So what? Then who did write it? Hero could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? Because... Because I killed her! Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I may have had a delayed reaction. <laughs> Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room 
right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... And that's all she said. After that, suddenly, I heard her mutter something. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was gonna try and kill me. She was gonna kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. I can't believe you. You're the worst. I hope you die. Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me. Boil me. Do whatever you want. So I can't wait for the revelation that he isn't the killer, and it's someone else who poisoned Zagara. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. What do you mean, get off easy, by the way? He just said, boil me. Pretty sure he's not gonna live past that. No. I think there's more to Hiro's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hiro's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. Huh. I got it! Okay, good. I was worried on that it's one. true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Oh, well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then, he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. We still have that confusing thing of the door being locked. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. That makes sense. Someone was in the locker. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I was thinking it from the beginning. Uh, theory, and I can apologize if I'm wrong when it's revealed that that's not the true villain, I think it's Toko. I think that she, not using her other personality, poisoned, because that would, you know, that seems to be, she doesn't like blood, at least that personality doesn't. And she was just hiding in the locker. Probably gonna end up checking out, but if it happens to be Byakuya, then, well then shit, what a twist. Someone who wouldn't like what was written? Oh. Well, her. It had to be Toko, right? Fuck. Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Only Toko would be this retarded to put the magazine upside down. Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait, but more important... That doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it. That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who last you? <laughs> Don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bottle. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. She can't believe it. Hero. Tell us what happened one more time. 
If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. All right, let's make our argument. Okay. We'll start from the top and see if the bullet fits. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. What was her examination? Right? Yeah, just once. Just once? After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. There were more remnants of bottle there, though. Is, but is that when we're revealing it? I'm gonna shoot just once. Because... Was hit by two bottles because two bottles are missing. The white noise blocked me. Okay. Because that would have gotten penalized otherwise. Good. Ugh. If Sakura died from Hero's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. <gasps> two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. <laughs> but I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. Space. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. And the chess pieces. Oh god. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a hangman's gambit. Chess piece? Yeah, chess piece. Clearly. the P. Well, we're done. Now I understand. That's it. The chest pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chest piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was... The knife, if I remember. So, what's that matter? Missing the Queen. 
I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh! So the queen is missing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does Chaz have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Yeah. Wait, no. That's not <laughs> me. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Hmm. It was broken. I got it! The bottle must have been broken. That makes you so sure. Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? It would be... This. I got it! Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. So from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. Hmm. Would have had to be used by the second attacker. Because he would have, like, Yasuhiro would have noticed if there was broken stuff to begin with. So it had to be second. Or some bowling aficionados. Can I choose that and get a response? <laughs> what, I'll take, I'll take the, I'll take the, you know, the penalty. It's worth it to freak him out about bowling. The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but... But there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it! No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! <laughs> Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Now I want you to live, because you're a piece of shit. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. 
That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come for us. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. <laughs> Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin. We're having another bullet time battle. Oh, oh no. Proper truth bullet. Hmm. But for educational purposes, we're going to pretend you're set to mean regardless. Just this once. Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go you. What about halfway? Oh god. Hey, so you lie! I am not you love me. I really hate you. I curse you. No, no, no! No! I admit nothing. I curse you. Oh, I have to reload. Shit. It's a lie. That's enough. It's a lie. I admit nothing. I hate you. I curse you. No, no, no. This one? This should prove it. Yep. It's her hand on, handprint on the locker. I was getting worried. Did you know someone was running low on time. Behind on the inside of the locker, they must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up. Right? Yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the- Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura! No, I swear, there's no way! Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? Wow. Wait, what do you mean probably? Don't say probably, because then I can. Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk. Now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go, but I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> so after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. And when I turned around, there was Sakura covered in blood and 
staring right at me. And also in the zone. When I saw that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Oh. Ah! It was your fault after all. My fault, Master's fault. When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights. Just answer the question: Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories, so I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wonder. So I opened my eyes to see. Not prepared for that. And well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you. you're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death over. <laughs> Don't drag me into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre, so that's good. <laughs> well then, that's that. Let's start the boat. No. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. No, not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. Your wish is my command, darling! This is starting to doubt my theory, because I don't even know what's going on anymore. I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, Sephiroth was right there in front of me! I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shelf! No, it's wrong! Because I'm pretty sure you couldn't move her to the chair. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. Huh. So there was no vomiting blood. I got it. Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Then what? Who killed her then? I don't. <sighs> then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. 
Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? The only other answers could be Byakuya poisoned her, or she poisoned herself. But that doesn't actually fucking make sense. The lost room still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Ooh. So she did while well, everything was all confused and hectic. No, that's not true. I got it. Even before we open the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got to look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Okay, then. Where was she hiding? I don't know. What's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying. No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And? Well, well I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Oh man, it's time to spin! Is it time to finally talk about the poison? It's either yellow powder or the file. I'm gonna go with the file. It wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack. And what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot. Okay, good. I'm right. I'm on a roll. It's definitely better than the last case where I kept getting shit wrong. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottle, she cut the inside of her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can... explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. <laughs> the key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along! You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. <laughs> There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Is that... the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections. A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents. And in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. Oh god, they're called reagents. I called them regents earlier. Oh shit, my comms are gonna kill me. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, 
That's the question, isn't it? But it came in section A. I got it. The poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? Huh? You just said that section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Well, what do you mean? I mean this. Oh. He's drinking protein. So high quality about this stuff. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Oh, sure. Do whatever you like. This is... it's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? Ah, oh, it's time for another gambit. So... Protein drink. Like, how hard is it to get an end to show up, right? Oh, now the eye's gone. Now the end's gone. Got it. Now I understand. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. I got it! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know? I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Yeah, who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. Well, I know the evidence. I got it. The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. 
lots more. The footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints. They're mine. Hina? Huh. I don't think she killed her, at least I don't think. Maybe she gave her the protein drink without knowing it was poison. I don't know, I'm trying to make sense of it. If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then Ogre's killer was. Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. I'm tired of this bullshit. Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Me and Hina. I got it! Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Hyaku. That explains why you... Or Hina and I if we want to be grammatically correct. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just you. Plus, Nina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? She can't be the... This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... the two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink, but when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? Now let her finish. That's when you switched out the protein uh, drink. Nah. She downed it all at once. And, and then... Hold it. I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? No, she just wants the trial to be longer. You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. But there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know. I give up on the case. The game can tell me who did it. Well... That doesn't matter! 
Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious, too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was... I was just nervous. So, I, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah, that's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. How come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please. I'd like to know too. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well... well Right away, I went to Section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay, then. Go on. So then I moved to Section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But... I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And... that's it. That story you just... First you went to Section C to get the poison. Mm -hmm. Then moved to Section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from Section C to Section A. Do I have that correct? Yeah. So why aren't there any footprints corroborating that? Yeah. The way the footprints are presented, you came in from the left side. Can you repeat that series of events one more time? But this time we'll spin. What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. <sighs> it's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long... No, let's just get to it. Spin. I already know it's footprints in the powder. First, I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you so when she says she goes from C to A, we shoot yeah. them. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay. Okay. And section C, section. No, it's wrong. You said you went to get the poison from section C, and that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. That contradicts what you just said. Look. Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? the meaning of this uh, um well you lied to us plain and simple if you look at the footprints your movements in the chem lab are obvious 
The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Well, you see... What the... What the hell? What's going on here? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. What? Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I... did? It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. You didn't actually do it, did you, Byakuya? I'm amazed you, of all people, would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Just say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. That's a piece of glass. It sunk to the bottom of the bottle. What glass is that from? Like, it's it's not the... What is that from? The window of the door? And the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. Your theatrix exposed this. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. But, but what is it? Yeah, what is oh, it? You still don't realize? Well then. Makoto, why don't you explain it? Uh, uh, okay. Huh? Me? I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's the window. Please don't tell me he's actually the murderer. Uh, if you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. Huh. Is it the window? I got it. Oh man. It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? I can't believe it. The window? The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. I completely forgot about this part. You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? Yes, how did it get in there? Do you have any comment, Mondo? Son of a bitch! What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Hmm. Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the rec room window? Um, it should have been on the shelf. Yeah. I got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? Um, um... And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Yeah? Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was open. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, hold on. You're moving too fast. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? 
He can't be the... I'm just... No, keep going. Keep going. I'm just... <laughs> I don't... I don't want to... You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? <laughs> to that protein can there's not a doubt in my mind empty protein can until the locked room was unlocked it absolutely was not in there so you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open no no that's impossible it, it had to have been in there the whole time it had to be it was in there before the wreck that's no, right, I just guessed. <laughs> also, he's going nuts. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. He also found pieces underneath the can. What? And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. I... I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then... Why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. Suicide? The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. I think I said this before, and yes, this sounds stupid. I need an explanation for this. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is... Exactly what happened. Then tell us already. Er, uh, sorry. Please, tell us. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? Sakura? I got it! Oh my god. I think it was Sakura herself. <sighs> Fucking mysteries. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What, what are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, 
right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? Fine then. You're a liar. What are you saying? Wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I did it. Stop talking. You're a liar. Wrong. You're wrong. I hate you. You're a liar. What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Oh, this is bad. Let me just do this. Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! Well, that helps De deal damage liar. fast. I'm telling you, I did it! And that's enough. Do you have any kind of proof, Sakura? This should prove it. I do. Oh, shit. I do have the proof. The yellow powder on her shoe. Hina, did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? It did? It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow wasn't it so the powder we found on soccer what else could it be but the powder from the chem lab uh. but does that mean we have no murder wait 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 so what was that powder doing on ogre's foot and it was only on our instep right sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled so the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing. Which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contains. No! It was me! I... the poison! Because... Because... Because I killed her! No, you didn't kill her. Oh my god. Here's Sakura killed Sakura. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. <clears throat> what? The killer was Sakura? Wait, so you're saying it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly! I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room. And she drank it. All so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Sakura wanted to create the locked room. I got it. The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. Was she trying to kill herself in a way that made it, like, impossible for anyone else to have done it, but everyone else doing their own thing made it look like a murder? I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room, until we came and opened it. At that point, someone
someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. You said you were going to go get everyone else. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. On it, you should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. It, yeah, you know what? When she did die and said she was gonna go people, go get people, I thought that maybe she was just in denial or something. But, yeah, makes sense. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! Yeah, we haven't done the comic book yet. It is. Actually, no. You're right. Hmm? We have to end this properly. With a comic book? This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Hyakuya. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toka. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Next to arrive was Hero. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bot and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name.
killed him. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear, she jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood-soaked Sakura. And she freaked out. Just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the queen chess piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true lock room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened knew that she had committed suicide. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort... ...was you, Hina. That's the full truth of the case. What a ridiculous case. Sakura took her own life. And you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? That's what happened? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, man. But, Makoto, how did you... How did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? Huh? Oh, well, I mean, you still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. <coughs> See, didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. Well, the case is done. Well, I guess we should go uh, give Sakura her punishment. Finally, she'll get okay, that justice. Okay, I think we can all agree you made your point. 
Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet! Oh yeah, that's right. You seriously forgot? <laughs> <sighs> I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote! So, who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice? Yeah, we know. We know. Oh man, hitting our slot machine. Three dead people. What a jip. Okay. My entire What what did you say? Hmm. Come on. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Thinking? Don't be mean. What is this? One to die. What, 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 what? Oh, it's because you're a piece of shit then. What? What is this? favor to ask huh some protein Hey! 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 
Thank you. About time someone started speaking sense, because all she's saying is stupid bullshit. Talk. This case has immediately become one of the best ones because it's all hinged on the fact that Hina went against the entire group to sabotage everyone to get the wrong person based on the suicide note and everything that was happening but the suicide note she read was written by this fucking bear. Monokuma had to do it. If Sakura committed suicide, it would ruin everything. Well now, well now, well now, well now. <laughs> Damn it! Poom, poom. Phew. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. You see, the mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch, so even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat, no longer compromise, no longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. A 
Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. But... What are you gonna do? <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> It's gonna be pretty hard for you to get us to kill anyone after this. What are you gonna do? Wrong. Well, that's good. <laughs> Listen up. What? Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. What? The corpse? You gonna do it on a corpse? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Oh no.
well. Maybe I'll grow, go on and grill up a plate of chicken. What's next? Friends with the basketball? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You guys? Hmm. Huh? Too bad. Hmm? What? 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 what does that mean? Not possible. <sighs> it's Stop talking. No, that didn't matter. What? 
Oh god. <laughs> I'm offended. What the heck? No, 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 no. Well, that's how it is for now. Bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon the okay then. Well, back to normal. Hmm. Yo, I'd lock my door. How is this happening? Yes, it's me. Huh? Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? It's true. Glad that you're very direct with this. Time unknown, by the way. Whew. Correct. Yeah, what's going on? Makoto. So... Let's go. We still haven't had a chapter four stinger yet. Let's see what's going on. Evening. How are you doing, Mr. Bear? I'm just, uh, I was looking for the bathroom. It. It's not breaking in if I'm just trying to rattle the door. Breaking in is like start kicking it, pulling it open. Just essentially trying to open it. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. Bear. Even I get tired, you know. Just a second. <laughs> you guys? It's true. Hey. Shall we go? Goodbye. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Goodbye. Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her.